Hi guys, welcome back to another interesting tutorial. This is Ajilam here. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that I get to know anytime I post new videos. So for today, we are going to be making this beginner friendly balloon tutu dress. So if you're interested, let's get started. All right, here is a quick one and I have my three yards of um, net here and I am working with just my half yard of satin. This is just what I'll be using for this with my zipper because I'll be adding a zipper to this dress. All right, so we are going to start by drafting out the pattern. This is going to be for a uh, six months old. I want it as simple as possible. So I'll start by marking out what I'll be cutting out on my satin, which is going to be like the lining for this dress. Now for that part, this is how I'm going to do that. So I'll be marking out the length that I'm working with. Now, if you want to make an A-line dress, that is the pattern I'll be using for this. And I believe that um, some of us already know how, how to draft an A-line pattern. So I'm going to alter that. This is just a simple way of going about that. So now the first thing is the length of the dress. Now for this, I'll be making the length. The length of the dress should be 18, and I have 18 here already, so I'll just use all this to illustrate, okay? So now I'm going to start by marking out the shoulder measurement, which is 3.75. So here is 3.75, and then on that point, I'll come down by half an inch, although at the end of the day, this um, shoulder slope will not be needed. It's not necessary. I'm just doing this so that you understand better. So this is the um, shoulder slope. Then on that point now, I am going to mark out the chest line, which is 3.5. So this is 3.5 here. Now we'll just bring it down. If I place my tape exactly on this line, it is 4 inches. So I'm going to mark the 4 inches out to get the chest line okay so now this is just what we need and the next thing to mark out here which is very important is the space that you want to use as the neck width all right from the thumbnail you can see how the dress is we need that little space for the neck width so now on this chest line i'll just mark out 1.5 inches Okay, that is just the distance I want to have on the chest line. Remember that my paper is just one and by the time we place on my fabric, it's going to be three inches because my fabric is going to be on fold. Alright, so this is it. And then I will also mark out the shoulder measurement here, which is 3.75 and then I will connect. Okay. So now this is what I have. Let me mark out the sh um, neck width that we're working with, which is one and a half, and then I'm, I'll connect as well. So the sleeve, the pleated sleeve is going to come in just here. All these parts will no longer be needed. So this is where the pleated sleeve will come in. All right, so by the time you cut, make sure to notch this point so that by the time you want to add the sleeve, you will get it right. So now I'm going to mark out the chest measurement. So the chest measurement is 5. That is 20 divided by 4. And then I'll add my half inch for my sewing allowance, making it 5.5. And guys, our online classes are on. So if you're interested in any of our classes, please check the description box for a number to reach out. We also have new classes coming up and you guys, you don't want to miss that class. Uh
so this is it after cutting it out as you can see so now i am going to take this and join the sides together this is the lining so i'll take this front and then join the sides together but make sure that the zipper part is will be open so i'll just join the side and then keep this now i have my net already folded for easy cutting so this is where you decide the length of your dress if you want you can make it knee length or t length anyone that you you're okay with so now for this i'll just check what i have here this is the length that i'm working with so i have 13.75 here so i'll just add two inches to that and it's going to be 15.75 now why i am adding two inches is because after gathering it on the hemline, we are going to be folding it inside. So I'll use the two inches as that fold that will be inside. I hope you understand. By the time we sew, you will understand better. So I'll just add two inches to the length that I'm working with to work with your own measurements. So like I said, I'll be making it 15.75. So I'll just mark out. 15.75 here remember that the sewing allowance is already included so this is 15.75 and then i'm going to cut out two pieces of this okay so this is the first one then i'm going to cut out the second one so after cutting it out, I will now join it together and use my gather stitch to run it all the way um, through. And you are going to repeat the same for both the upper side and the hemline side. Okay, so this is two of them. So I'll be using this part now for the sleeve, even though I'll still have enough uh, fabric remaining. So I'll keep this aside. I'll open it up. Remember I said we're going to be adding zipper to this dress. So I will join it together. This is my 15.75. So I'm going to join it together. Like I said, this is a very simple and easy project. You can do this in less than 30 minutes. Okay. So I'll use my gather stitch now and run it all the way down and I'll repeat the same on this hemline, okay? All right, after joining it, this is what I have. This is my satin. I just joined the sides together and I gave it a good press. So I'm going to measure now to check, to know what I have on this part because I'll gather my net to whatever I have here. So I'll check. So here I have 35 inches, that is what I have. So I'm going to gather the net, that is the part that is going to be on this hemline. So this is the net and as you can see, I use my gather stitch to, to sew both ends. This part is going to be the hemline. So now I'll gather this until I have my 35 inches, which is just what I measured on this hemline. So let me just quickly do that. After gathering it, I'm going to join it on the hem line and then I will sew uh, the zipper side. I will just sew it a little so that by the time you turn it inside, it will also look neat. All right, so let me quickly gather this and then we continue. All right, this is it. After gathering it now, this is what I have. I have my 35 inches here. So I'm going to take the satin, as you can see. Remember that this satin is just what I'm using as the lining. We're not going to add any lining again. So I'm going to take it this way now. Make sure that this back is on top. And then I'm going to stitch it all the way together, all the way down to this other end. After that, I'm going to gather this upper side as well remember that the upper side we're working with um, a chest measurement of 20 inches plus the two inches for the zipper allowance making it 22 inches so i'll also go ahead and gather this part that is going to be on that chest line um, to 20 inches before joining it 
here all right so let me just go ahead and join the hemline first before joining the chest line part after that we're going to be cutting out the pleated sleeve all right so here it is after sewing it this is the hem part and you can see that i turn it inside remember i used two inches for this turning all right so if you're working with a length of 12 you should add two inches to that making it 14 so that by the time you fold in the length will be okay so now this is the chest line now so i'm going to keep this aside so we can cut out the pleated sleeve we are going to attach the sleeve first before closing up this side now this part that i use my gather stitch you can also um, use um, an elastic thread for this side that way you will not be adding any zip but for me i want to add zipper that is why i am using my um, my gather i use gather for this part because i'll be adding zip so now to the sleeve part remember that from here from this shoulder line to this chest line it was four inches I so it's four inches and remember that it is going to pass through the back as well this is the front meaning the back should be also four inches making it eight inches then i'll add my one inch for sewing allowance that is the front and the back sewing allowance making it nine so i'm going to cut out nine in two pieces because this is going to be for the two sleeves so i'll just cut out nine and i'm going to use my my net this is what i have left okay and before i forget uh, at the end of the day i use i cut out my net in three pieces because i have enough so i didn't want to waste the remaining um, i didn't want to waste my net so I, I cut this out three pieces so this is what i have left and this is going to be enough for my sleeve so let me keep this aside so we can cut out the nine inches So here I have my net, as you can see, I just folded it. Now remember I said I'll be making each of my, I'll make the pleats to be five. Okay, so each pleat I'm going to, um, each pleat is going to be two inches. So if you multiply that by five, it's going to give me 10. So I'll be cutting out 10 inches by nine. Okay, so I'm going to mark now and whatever I, for this part, I'm going to double it because I still have enough net. So I'll just double the sleeve. Okay, so this is nine. This is nine here. And unfold, as you can see, is already 10 inches. And then I'm going to cut out four pieces of that two for one side and the other two for the other side of the sleeve okay so this is it i'll just cut this out so this is what i'll be using for the sleeve I'm going to cut out another one. If you open it up now, you can see that I have nine inches, nine inches by 10, okay? So I'm going to cut out another one. Like I said, I will double it. And then after cutting it, I'm going to close it on one side before pleating. Okay, let me just quickly cut it out. So this is it and i'm going to cut out another two pieces like this for the other sleeve then i'm going to fold it over this way and stitch it on this end and then i'm going to now turn it to make the pleats so here it is as you can see i just joined the sides together and then you turn it inside out so this is how you are going to pleat okay you just pleat how many this is where you add the plate that you want to use for this part. If you want it five, six, seven, this is where you're going to add all that. And then you're going to repeat the same on this lower part. So after that, this is what it will look like. 
Now this is the plate. I just finished uh, making this one. So I'm going to take the dress now. This is it. Remember the notches that I placed to know where the sleeve should start or end. So this is one of them. And you're going to uh, place the same on the back by simply folding it to the back and then notch the point. So now this is what I'm going to do. And on this end, you can see that I left uh, 0.75 here that I'll be using to fold only my satin inward. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I will take the pleats now and place it on one of those notches like this. This is the center. So I'm going to place it this way. Okay, but before I sew, I will sew that in on the side. As you can see, this is the this is the back. So I'm going to take this um, the sleeve now and place it over this way at the back, and then I'm going to stitch it in just here. Now, after sewing that, remember that my my satin now I'm going to fold it this way. By the time you fold your satin, this should be like this. Okay, so if you fold the satin, this is how the sleeve should sit on the satin this way and then we are going to now take the net and place it over like this so this is the look that we are trying to achieve i hope you can see this very well so i'll go ahead now and then pleat the second one and join it here before closing or folding my satin all right this is it after stitching it as you can see you sew on this back of your satin this is how it is okay this is the part that is going to be at the back side so right now i am going to fold use the half inch that i left here to fold in my satin this way okay now you can see that by the time i fold in this sleeve is going to sit nicely inside so this is how it's going to be and then i'll place this now on it this part is going to sit on the stitching this way okay you can also use your pin to hold it first all right and then i am going to stitch it all the way down as i'm stitching i'll keep on adjusting it i'll just fold it in and stitch it on top all the way down to this zipper side so after that i'll just close the zipper and then attach the zipper and that is how is it it is to make this so let me just quickly stitch this side and then show you how it looks all right this is what i have after closing the back side and this is what it looks at the front and by the time you turn the back side you can see that you have a very clean work here so all that is left for me now is to add my zipper like i said earlier if you don't want to attach any zipper you can use your elastic thread on this part that way there will be no need for you to open up the back and to attach any zipper so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i will see you all soon